Oh wait, I'm gonna have a contraction right now. Okay. That was like two minutes. Two or three. So maybe my walking did help. I don't know if that was a good thing or not though. Okay, so here is the beginning of our vlog. Maybe I'll go into the bathroom so it's better lighting. I don't have much time between my next contraction. So we'll see. I had my first contraction today at 1.08 p.m. And I was like, oh my gosh, this one's actually crampy. They were not consistent at all until probably five, five to six p.m. <laughs> but they weren't painful at all. I wanna set you guys up so you can like see me fully. But maybe I'll sit like this. Um, they were not painful. They were only like 30 seconds apart. Or not 30 seconds apart, sorry, 30 seconds long. But they did not hurt. It was just like Braxton Hicks. And then a couple hours later, they started getting more crampy, but then they died down a little bit. And then they picked back up for another hour. And then they like completely stalled for maybe an hour plus. Um, so I was like, okay, well maybe I'll just go to bed and then try and rest. But I was like, First, I want to do some laps around our room. <laughs> so I decided to walk around our room for 30 minutes to see if things would pick back up again. And what do you know, right at the end, right before I'm gonna go to bed, they start back up again. About two minutes apart, they're very crampy. I can talk through them still. They're probably the most like crampy contractions that I've had so far. Right now, it's 10.36 p.m. I should probably tell you guys the date. It's December 19th and I am 41 weeks and four days pregnant. Part of me hopes I can get some rest but the other part of me is like no let's just like get this baby here and then you can rest after you have the baby. I'll show you guys kind of where our birthing area is gonna be. We should have grabbed all the stuff from mom's room. The plan is we're gonna move our bed over we're gonna move all that stuff, of course, in the mirror and everything. And we're gonna have the pool right here. And of course we have our bathroom, so it'll be perfect to get the water in the tub and everything. That's the plan. I've been talking for four minutes and haven't had a contraction, so. No, actually I did have a contraction on camera. Dang it. So, it's been two minutes. <laughs> I was tracking them on my phone, but I don't know. Sometimes I feel like it makes it a little too just stressful to do that. Anyways, I'll update you guys um, when I can. I'm gonna have another contraction now. They are two minutes apart. Okay, where do I put this? Someone told me to squat. Oh. I'm having one. are very consistent every like two to three minutes and I definitely have to breathe through them and I'm super shaky and Aiden is setting up the room okay walking kind of helps We have the bed here. We're gonna get the pool here with the lights. I think I'm gonna have my midwife head over because 
are starting to get really intense. it was like straight up and down so I couldn't feel her posterior fontanelle because it was just too much her head was too low but I could just feel the suture in the middle so. God I told you to set up when I did I just pumped it out a little bit perfect how big is your hot water heater? What? How big is your hot water heater? On demand. Oh. Unlimited. Awesome. Yeah, that gets utilized. 45 minute showers are like, <laughs> no drop. Perfect. Six. Six. 
She had his room. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm like a wild beast when I'm at this point. And <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been laboring that long. Well. Yeah. Since 10 30. Well, well yeah. yeah. I know it's nice that they were that those easy, mm -hmm. mild feeling contractions did a lot work. Which is good.
And let me know if you see a gush of blood and watch it. Okay. Do you can you pinch your cord down here so it's still close to me? Mm -hmm. So your placenta probably has these So if you're going to cramp, it's just not easy to push down. Okay. Come on. It actually seems like oh. <sighs> I feel it coming out in the placenta. Everyone. Do you want to get cozy in the bed when I'm trying to kind of transfer? So it's up to you if you want to cut the cord now so it's easier you can hand her off to Aiden or if you want to wait. Okay, so let's do that while you're in the pool. Mm -hmm. So, 42 feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just going to cut right above the... Wow, that was quick. Not my first rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get you nice and slow, okay? So kind of come forward. to get to that point. Yeah. I'm sure it felt that way. I knew it would be short because last time it was so short. More than the induction. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got it going. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Perfectly round head though. 34 centimeters. No color. What was Israel? 13 and a quarter. I can't remember Israel's head. Nice. 
16 and a half inches. So she's one inch taller than Israel was. 49 and a half She does have so much hair, and she knows where her thumb is at. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cute. <laughs> Pointy, have you noticed that? She's perfect. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Six. Fourteen. Fourteen. Wow. <laughs> She's living happy. <laughs> See a beef cake? She's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're a lot bigger than everyone thought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And she pulls to one side. Is it her right side? Um, she was like this when I looked at her. Yeah. So yeah. This way. And she was R O P when I got here. Yeah. Yes, you're right in the way that you bent. <laughs> yes. 